quick video on how to replace your suspension on the Evolve Pro. Um, front and rear are very similar, same setup. Uh, the rear is slightly more complicated, so we'll do that one. Your mudguard needs to come off first. There's four Phillips screws. Remove those. Set that aside. So this half and this half will split apart so that we can get the spring out. And so we need to facilitate that. The motor is going to have to come off. So this is an 18 millimeter socket. This one up here is gonna to have to come off too and that's a 19 millimeter. But using the 18, Before it comes all the way out, um, you can see in here, this is the motor cable. There are a couple clips holding it in place. There's one, two, three. You can take a long handled flathead screwdriver and just bend that up out of the way a little bit. It makes working with the motor out a lot easier. There we go. So continue loosening. And there we go. So we're going to unhook the cable. Pull some slack out from the deck and we can feed it through and get our motor temporarily out of the way. So note, the motor cable goes through this section right here. When you put everything back together, you need to make sure that's exactly where it goes as well. So, removing these top two. Uh, you can loosen them now. Uh, we're gonna loosen these first, actually. This is a four millimeter, one on either side. So you'll need two four millimeter hex Allen wrenches. one is out and you might need something to push it through so it's a threaded rod it's threaded on either end keep the pieces together and when you take this out there are some spacers in here. There's four spacers on either side. Keep track of your spacers. So there's two that are attached and the other two, you need to make sure that they go back when you put everything back together. So we're gonna remove this bottom half, uh, which is the 19. Only one side needs to come off. So we'll take off this right side. And wiggling it back and forth. The end of this is square shaped that fits into here. So it'll take a little bit of wiggling to get it out. Once you have enough space, you can always use um, a pry tool of some sort.
go. So the arm is off, it's a square hole. And now we can remove the bottom suspension. Uh, there's a solid pin in here that fits into this hole down here, one on either side of the arms. That comes out. This is the pivot point for the bottom. When you're installing a new suspension, the coils are facing down. The adjustment is up top, so it's accessible. To get everything back together, this pin keeps that in the bottom pivot point. Put that in all the way. And we need to get this square hole fit over the shaft. Be careful. If this comes out too far, this washer has a spot that it sits on. If it's sitting in the wrong spot, it'll be a lot harder to put on and things won't fit back together properly. So we need to make sure it's lined up. If you end up getting both sides off, You see that lip right there? That is where the washer needs to sit. Put that back together. You need to make sure that that top one and the bottom pivot point sit in the right orientation. Make sure your spring is facing up before you put everything together. So getting it past the threads might be a little difficult. Just keep working it back and forth, up and down. You can see that it's sitting, the washer sitting where it should. So I'm going to put the nut on there just to keep it from falling off. So I'm not tightening it down all the way. It's just to keep the arms from separating while we put everything else back together. Remember the motor cable, the motor cable feeds through here. Keep that in that spot. We're going to put this top bit back together. So we have our two spacers and then the two that were already on there. At this point, it's good to have something long that you can fit through to keep all of this in place. Put those on the ends, lift it up, and then that in place. So now we can feed threaded rod through from the other side. four millimeter Allen tool 
one on either side to help tighten it down. Okay, at this point, you can go ahead and put your rear motor back in place. These anti-rotation washers need to face forward to go in these little hooks. And you can line up your motor cable. These um, springs just cover the exterior where the mounting points are to make sure you don't get any um, vibration cuts from the metal clips. So you can fit it roughly in place. Once the motor is properly back in, it'll be easier. These are 18, 18 millimeter. And then we can go ahead and tighten up the rear, which was the 19, now that everything's put back together. Quite a bit of torque on this one to keep everything in place. And then with our flat head, we can put all the cables back into the right spots. And press the clips down. and feed back the slack into the deck. There we go. And the last thing would be the mudguard.